So this video will explain how to control this light in analog mode. All right. Earlier we did the digital mode in which we were just turning on and off the light based on the <coughs> signal from this uh, brightness sensor, okay, which was also working in digital mode. Now let's go to the analog mode. So for analog mode, we have to find this. This is a brightness sensor here on, under the tags. This is activated. This is the value coming from <coughs> coming because of the illuminance. Okay, this can change very. This will vary according to the illuminance of the light. At the dark, this value will decrease. All right. Now for the garden light, we have this analog value float, and this is for the pool, and that's for the Porsche. All right. So now, if you just want to see how this vary, so let me show you a small demo. Now, from the source, I will take one numerical value, and its maximum value I'm taking eight because. This works from 0 to 8. Okay, so this is 0 to 8. Now, I'll just connect that in parallel. Now you'll find the luminance. Okay, you can find it's increasing and it's decreasing based on the value. So this is what we want from the sensor, floating sensor. So what happens if you directly connect that to your floating value? This is not the desired operation because this is 8 at the daytime. At night, this will decrease. But we need this value when this decreases by the factor of 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a constant, same numerical value. This time make it make it 8 so that it be a constant. So let's subtract, let's subtract this floating value from this constant and give the results to this floating values, floating outputs. So let's see what will happen. So for that let's take a subtract here. That's the subtract. Okay, when you subtract this from 8, then you'll have a desired operation on these loading values. Now, right now it's minus 0 0.5. So let me just have a little bit shade. Now you will notice this value going to is going to decrease and this value is going to increase. This is a way to reverse the operation, reverse the scaling by using a subtract command. You can see that light has been, the lights are illuminated. Right now it's 639 so if I go to like 11 in the evening then it will illuminate more okay now if you want to see the pool side because this is also controlling the pool lights and the porch light you will see the same luminance over there as well over here so that's how you can use analog control to control the light based on illuminance in a proportional way not just on and off so let's go to the day now. Let's go to 8 in the morning. Then you'll find the slides will be off automatically. Okay, because this value will change. <coughs> this loading value. See, this is value is increasing and this is decreasing. So in the morning, lights are off. Earlier, also in digital mode, lights were getting off. But in this case, it's getting dim. Dim as well. And then it fades to off and fades to on. That's give you some more, you know, <coughs> a better way to have these light controls because in case of less light you have just in case of less illuminance the day luminance you have minimum fading of your lights okay that it, that looks as that looks good as well in this case all right so that is all about using analog control and you may have a lot of analog control inside the room as well right now we are just controlling outside the building all right outside this this smart house simulation so let's see what we have next in the next video see some more operations of this home automation. Thank you.